Theo is with us in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hey, Theo, what's up? Hey, that's in my state. Thanks for taking my call. Um, so I'm self. I own a. Well, I own a self-employed swimming pool maintenance business that I started about three years ago. Last year, um, I revenued about forty k, and they hit me with about eight thousand dollars in taxes. And so I was just wondering, what's some good investments or something I can do to keep more of my money rather than give it to the government? You made a forty thousand dollar profit, not revenue. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, profit. Yes. Okay, taxable income, and your taxes were eight grand on that. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to making money. You get taxed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's there's no uh, there's no way you can hide from that. I, if there was, I I probably wouldn't be doing the show. I'd just be selling that. Um, gotcha. Yeah. No. There's there. You know. Uh, you you don't want to create artificial expenses to avoid taxes. Right. So because that is trading a dollar for a quarter. See, you're paying 20, you're paying less than 25% in taxes right now. And so if you, if you spend a thousand dollars, you only save 250. So every okay, dollar you spend on your business should be an investment. It should make you money, more money, not less. And so increasing artificial expenses just to not pay taxes is just blowing money. That's a dumb idea. You're trading dollars for quarters. Don't do that. Now, the idea is, uh, you know, what can we do? I think you probably ought to sit down with a good tax pro and see if you're missing anything on valid deductions on activities you're already doing. Okay. Um, how, how good a set of books are you keeping? Um, I use QuickBooks, and so it, it keeps track of uh, everything for me. And you keep um, all of your mileage. you keep all yeah. your pool company cash completely separate from home until yes. you take some out of it to pay bills at home. That is correct. Good job, good man. Because a lot of guys in your situation, they commingle their funds, and then they buying groceries out of the company account and that kind of crap. And you can't really keep up with your accounting when you're doing that. So. No. You're doing a really, really superior job, Theo, by keeping that separated. I must have taught you that. Good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, but that's really good. I'm proud of you. And so, and and one year in, you're already doing this. Do you have any team members yet? No, I'm I'm going solo right now. But my son's getting ready to uh, start driving, so hopefully, I'm gonna put him on that side of it as well. Yeah, good slave labor. Good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nothing like it yeah. nothing like having a parent who owns their own business you get yeah. to work uh, so can, can a self-employed person do like 401ks and yes. that type of stuff yes you can if you if you're ready to start investing if you're debt free at home yes. and you have your emergency fund at home and you're ready to start investing you can do a 401k however i would recommend you did a roth before you did a traditional which creates no tax advantage today okay so it's not, it, it doesn't help what you called about. So, right. um, gotcha. uh, uh, because I would rather have tax free when it's a million dollars than tax free when you're putting in 10,000. Okay. Totally understand. So that I'm going to go Roth there. Ha. <sighs> um, yeah, I think sitting down with a pro, a tax pro and letting them comb through your, your stuff and going, okay, you missed this. You could have done that. Cause mm -hmm. I learn something from our tax guys almost every year. That there's something okay. around here, you know, we found we could take an R&D credit that we didn't know uh, and went back and had to refile some omitted returns a few years back and file the, you know, do the whole thing that way. So, uh, and I didn't know, even though that th kind of crap existed. So yeah. our tax guy brought that in and showed me that we, you know, we were leaving money on the table with stuff we were already doing. And uh, mm -hmm. it might be that there's a, you said you're taking mileage. It might be depreciating the vehicle ends up being better mathematically depending on the miles. I don't know depending on how right. expensive the vehicle is and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I, and, and a, the other thing is, are you setting aside, are you doing your quarterly estimates? Uh, I am not. It, it does it on my app that I have, um, but I do not set that aside. I just pay it all at the end of the year. Okay. You, you're the second year of business. If you don't do your quarterlies, you're going to get extra penalties. Oh, Okay. All right. So they let you do that. They let you pay at the end of the year of the first year. But mm -hmm. after that, you've got to file your quarterly estimates and make the deposits or okay. you're going to get penalized. And so that's another reason to pull in a tax pro 
to help you get that part set up. But that, again, still not helping you on the dead gum $8,000. It's a guy out here cleaning pools, D.C., Washington, D.C., and you took $8,000 of his money. Gah! And 51% of Americans pay zero federal income tax, but this pool cleaner is giving him $8,000. It's just not right. It's just not right. And it's not all the rich people aren't paying taxes. It's dadgum people not paying taxes is what it is. So the tax, you know, we're going to put, we're going to tax the rich. You already are. The top 49% are the only ones that pay a dime of federal income tax. So that's a dumb butt statement. And this guy gets taxed. So yeah, get me started on Washington, D.C. We're so pro-business in our party. Yeah, I don't know what party you're going to, but I ain't seen any of y'all that are pro-business. None of you people up there. Y'all need to get your crap together. It's unbelievable. This, if anybody ought to get to keep their money, it's this guy. You know? I, the, you guys milk me like I'm yesterday's cow already, but I get this. But this guy ought to be able to keep his dadgum money. This is just ridiculous. I'm sorry. Theo, I'm on your side, man. Uh, but I'm not a very good lobbyist because I make too much noise. So you're going to pay your taxes, man. And I don't have any way you can hide it. It's that simple. So, ah.